Puppy! What is it, Pikachu? Pika! Whoa, look at that! Magneton! <gasps> Whoa! Magneton! So cool! That's Magneton! Yeah! Pikachu! Hey, Max! What kind of Pokemon is Magneton? Well, I remember that Magneton is three Magnemite pulled together by magnetism. What's magnetism? And what does it have to do with bringing them together? Um... I know. Let's call Ciara. Maybe she knows. Good thinking. Hey, May. Hey, Ciara. You got a minute? Sure. I'm just out collecting specimens for a leaf experiment. What's up with you? We just saw the coolest Pokemon, Magneton. Sounds awesome. What's it like? Well, Magneton is three Magnemite pulled together by magnetism. Huh. Well, that may help explain it. Magnetism. But what's that? Magnetism is, well, first we should talk about metal. Most magnets are made of metals such as iron, steel, nickel, and cobalt. And metals, like other things, are made up of tiny particles called atoms. Right. They're the smallest of smallest. But within that small atom, there are other particles. Atoms are made up of electrons, protons, and neutrons. It's electrons that play an important part in magnetism. I'll show you. The atoms in magnetic materials are arranged in small groups called domains. Each domain contains billions of atoms and acts like a tiny magnet. Normally, the domains point in different directions. But when the electrons in the atoms spin around so that most of them face the same way, the metal becomes a magnet. Kind of like in a movie theater where everyone is facing the screen. So how do magnets use their force to attract things? Magnetic pull has to do with the poles of a magnet. What kind of poles? You mean like rods or sticks? In this case, one end of a magnet is called the North Pole and the other end is called the South Pole. When you put the two North Poles of a magnet together, the electrons are moving around in the same direction. So the two poles push each other away. They repel each other. I bet I can guess what happens when the North Pole and South Pole face each other. They stick together, right? Exactly. The two opposite poles attract each other. They stick together and hold tight. I guess it's like that saying, opposites attract. That's the idea. Why don't you try seeing how magnets repel and attract each other? Cool. I want to try. You'll see two magnetic bars. Decide if they will attract or repel each other. Click Attract or Repel. You're right. The two north poles of a magnet repel each other. Give these two a shot. What do you think will happen? Right on. Opposite poles attract. Okay. Now, what do you think about these two magnets? Awesome! Opposite poles attract. Now, check these magnets out. What do you think will happen? You're right! The two south poles of a magnet repel each other. All right! You did it! Pikachu! you! So cool! Yep. That's how magnets work and how magnetism can pull things together. Awesome! Thanks for explaining it all to us, Ciara. Yeah! Pikachu! No problemo. Anytime. Bye, Ciara. We better get back on the road now. Okay. See you later. Pika! Now I need to get back on the road, too. I have to get home because the sun is starting to set. But I'm lost. I wish I had a compass. Did you know that compasses use magnetism to tell direction? The Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field, which makes Earth a giant magnet. And just like magnets have poles, so does the Earth, a North Pole and a South Pole. If you hung a magnet from a string, it would naturally move so the poles of the magnet were attracted to the right poles of the Earth. See, the North Pole of the magnet is attracted to the South Pole of the Earth, and the South Pole of the magnet is attracted to the North Pole of the Earth. You can even tell where you are by Earth's magnetism and a little thing called a compass. A compass is a circle with a needle on it that is magnetized, so it will always point north. That's how a compass works. Now, I'm going to use Earth's magnetism to tell me how to get back to the Learning League Lab. 
but I'm going to need your help building a compass. Let's see here. I've got a bar magnet, a bowl, a bow. No, I need a bowl. Okay, here it is. Now I need a bottle of water, okay, and a foam cup, perfect. Last but not least, a sewing needle. Where is that thing? It's like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> oh, here it is, a sewing needle. Okay, so we've got all the parts to build the compass. Now I'm going to need your help putting it together by answering these questions. Okay, what is the force that attracts opposite poles of magnets to each other called? All right, let's get this compass started. First, we need the bowl. Okay, next question. Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field, magnetic ring, magnetic poles. Cool. Next step, put some water in the bowl. The two types of poles are east and west, positive and negative, north and south. Awesome! A magnet is a piece of polarized metal, an iron bar, a U-shaped piece of metal. Awesome! Now we need to put a piece of styrofoam in the bowl. I'm going to tear some off this cup. The atoms and magnetic materials are arranged in small groups called different metals, domains, magnetisms. Great! The next step is polarizing the needle. I'm just going to rub it with the magnet. Next question. Which one has the strongest magnetic force? Right. Let's drop this baby in and watch it spin. Yeah! Now magnets that are attracted to each other can be pulled apart by a stronger force, can never be pulled apart, can be pulled apart by water. Awesome! Electrons in a magnet all face the same way, face opposite directions. It doesn't matter which way they face. Awesome! Cool! Looks like north is this way, and I know the lab is south of here, so I should go this way. Yeah! I made it back to the lab! Home sweet home! I couldn't have done it without your help. It's been great hanging out with you. After all, your personality is magnetic. The two north poles of a magnet repel each other. That's why your magnets won't stick together. Try again. See how the magnets are sticking together? That's because opposite poles attract. Try again. Try again. Try again.